Hey yo. Okay, let me. I just dropped my ring. So, don't mind the camera angle, don't mind anything that's happening in the background of this video because it's gonna be trash, okay? Like, we're accepted, we're done with that. I wanna show you guys my pants. I'm wearing really cute pants today. I don't know if you can see, but they're yellow and um, they're floppy. So, you know. Um, so today, I'm gonna be talking, I don't know why I'm out of breath, oh my god. I'm actually sick, so <laughs> this video is gonna be real, real fun. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about college. Sorry, I'm putting my earrings on. So, college. Um, what is it about? You know, what's the tea? College students, what do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. This is the longest intro in the world. But I'm gonna be actually be telling you guys about how I got into the school that I go to now, which is Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, if you know. You, you don't know that, even though I have like three other videos on it. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm gonna be telling you guys some of my stats, if I can remember them, because I have the worst memory in the world, and I've been in college now for a little bit over a month. So like, that's like an eternity for me, so. But I really wanted to make a video just like helping people understand like the college process more because it's it's very annoying but whatever I'm gonna tell you guys how I got into Loyola Marymount University what my stats were you know what my SAT and ACT scores were and my GPA all that you know all that good stuff I ate like four things of Ricola and you're only supposed to have two so if I pass out in this video, like, we'll know why, you know? So where do I start, where do I start? I'm from San Diego, so I went to school in San Diego. Um, I wasn't really like a straight A student. Uh, I was like, uh, um, <laughs> I would say like a B to A minus kind of student, you know? Like, I got my work done, it just usually took me like way longer to do it, you know? I don't know, what classes did I take? Oh, interesting. I only took two APs throughout my entire high school career, but I did take three AP exams. So the APs I took were AP Psychology my senior year, AP English Language my junior year, and then I took the exam for AP French Language, even though I didn't take the class AP French Language because our school like got rid of it the last year which was trash, you know, but that's fine, it's cool. Uh, that exam also sucked, it might have been, it's honestly probably the hardest AP exam I took, which is funny, because I took AP English, actually AP English language was not that hard, like, it, AP French was really, like, next level. You know, I got a three, so, <laughs> yeah. And then for AP English language, I got a four. AP Psych, I got a four as well. I took a lot of tests. So I'm gonna preface this with, you don't need to take as many tests as I did, because one, they cost a lot of money, two, they really don't help you that much. Like, maybe I haven't gotten to the point where they're helping me yet, but they, like, you know, where where is she? Like, where's that point? It was a lot of testing that I did. It was way too much. I took the biology SAT subject test, and then I took the math, I think? I didn't take the math SAT, I took the English one. And if you are planning on taking the SATs, when you take it with the fee waiver, you also get a fee waiver, or at least I did, I don't know if they still do that, but you get four free waivers for applying to college. So you should check it out. And then I took the French SAT subject test. Are we, you know, sensing something that maybe I like the French language? I don't know, it's weird. I took all those, <laughs> first of all, the subject tests were the worst. Like, like I did the worst on the subject test tests than I did on any other test I took. For the French one, I'm pretty sure I got like a 500 or something, but then every school I looked at was like, you need to get like a 600 or above to even count it. And I was like, oh, that's, that's real cute because that's not what I got. And then I think for English, I got like a 560 and then for math, I got like a 540. Like I did not do well on those, um, but it's fine because they were subject tests and they're all optional. And like, I don't know why I took, I think I took them because I had a waiver and my waiver was like, you could take the SAT subject test. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna step up my game. And it like, I took it and it was a waste of my time. So you don't have to do that. Um, you don't even have to take the SAT and the ACT. 
I would recommend you pick one and like master it because the school I went to I was in Avid which if you guys don't know is like a it's like a college bound ish program it's just like something to help you get to college and um, they would always tell us to like take the SAT and the ACT because if you do better on one you can send in the one you did better on but like you could just look up like examples of the test <laughs> and like take some practice tests and figure out which one you think you would do better on and just stick to that one. By the way, Khan Academy has like an amazing SAT practice test. So they have like, you can take practice tests, you can do like per sections, you can um, write an essay and they'll like tell you how much you're gonna get on the essay. Like it helped me a lot and I did so many, I did, they have like eight and I took them all and then I got their little gold star thing. So those really help. Um, if you want to like improve your score and you like can't afford because it's free it's free by the way so like you know like totally use it I mean why not and like if you take an SAT and you do really bad and then you take it again and you do really well stick with that score don't take the ACT like don't don't pay more than you have to because it is so expensive <laughs> yeah but I took the SAT and the ACT twice I believe and I took them all with reading every test i took i took with reading or writing was it writing with writing i took it with writing um for the sat the first time i took it i took the psats that was tragic i got like a 900 because i had to leave midway through my exam it was just a lot of backstory too much um and then i took the sat for the first time did super super bad on it um i well it wasn't bad actually let me rewind because it's not like what's bad to me is really not bad to anyone else but i got like a tw uh what did i get i got like a thousand and twenty something which is like average like when you look up what the average score on the act is it's like a thousand so i was just like a little bit like a little bit above average which was not cute to me i was like um huh you know like how'd that work second time i took it i got a 12 30 which is like better and in the range for lmu which was like my top school it wasn't initially my top school but became my top school i don't really know why i sound salty right there um it was my top school so <laughs> so like not sure what that's about and then i took the act um act was real cute i don't know why i just did better on the act than i did on the sat it was just like i didn't care for the test at the time i was taking it but then i got the same score on the act like the conversion i got a 25 i think i might have gotten it no i got a 26 on the act which is like roughly the same actually it's higher it's roughly the same score that, as the sat that i took so that was ugly i didn't pay for any of those though because i had waivers which is really nice so if you're like a low-income student i would recommend going to your school and asking if they have waivers because waivers were everything that was how i took any test that i had to take and like you get like one a year i think so i took one ICT, my uh, junior year and one my senior year which again if you can just take one just take one because you won't want to do it your senior year like I remember just ugh, I was like why am I here I'm not in focus I was like why am I here I like don't want to take this test I don't like any of these kids you know a lot was going on so I'm trying to focus myself right now and that's just not happening so that's cool that's cool that's fine so GPA moving on to the GPA she was she was she was all right it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad so my gpa was like a 3.7 but it was like barely a 3.7 <laughs> like i was definitely rounding um because it was like a 3.69 it was like weighted it was a 3.70 but then unweighted it was like a 3.65 or something it was like significantly lower and i was like you know what who's gonna fight me over it i'm just gonna put that in a 3.7 like technically it's right you know yeah every application process is different again this is like not really like a college video it's more like how i got to lmu so i'm not gonna go too in depth on like my college process because that's just way too long and way too expensive to discuss right now um so for the lmu application it's like on common app or the what i did was on common app i think you can do it on their website as well but i was like you know what that's just too much i also found out after i started my common app that you can do it on their website so they could have fought me you know <coughs> coming for joanna Sadia's brand okay i don't know if i'm describing this correctly and i don't know if they've changed it but um 
I mean, I doubt it. I literally applied to college like this year. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm acting like it was forever ago, but um, you write your essay for the Common App and that is the essay that they send to like every school that you apply to on Common App. And then for LMU, I had like a Jesuit essay, which was like, they gave you a prompt or you got to pick a prompt. And then you had to be like, how does this reflect Jesuit values or something? And um, all I remember was my essay was about Moonlight Kingdom by Wes Anderson, which weirdly has become a theme because I think in my last video I mentioned Wes Anderson, but like I really don't like Wes Anderson that much. I don't know why I wrote my essay on that. I think I was just like running out of ideas and I like thought about a good metaphor or something and I was like, ooh, we're gonna be outlandish and cool, you know? Yeah, I wrote those essays and I applied early decision because I think there's a difference between early action and early decision because early action was like once you apply and you get accepted you have to commit to LMU and then early decision was like you just get your decision early you don't have to commit and I was like you know what not a big fan of commitment so we're going with a decision so I applied early decision and I think I was supposed to be notified in like December but then I didn't get notified until like January or something. I got notified like super late and I was so nervous because I was like, this is really like the school that I want to go to. <laughs> so if I don't get in, that's going to be real garbage. Like I'm going to have to pull up and fight someone, you know? But the truth is once you've sent in your apps, there's no point in worrying about it because at that point, there's nothing you can do. Like it's so much better to like send it and be done with it than it is to worry about it. And I know everybody says that and it's not easy. It's not at all. I didn't even do it cause I was freaking out the whole time. But um, like, I was just really nervous about it. And the fact that it came late, I was like, how y'all gonna not tell me if I got in? Like, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, so in January, I like went to open, you know, my little portal, you know, which also was an issue. All I remember about applying to college was having like 6,000 portals to check. And it was like every day when I went on my computer, the first thing I did was like, go check the uh, Cal State Long Beach portal, go check the UC portal. I checked the UC portal every day until like March, even though their decisions don't even come out then. Like I don't, so I finally, one day in like one faithful day in like January or like February or something, it was something like early in the year or late in the year, um, I checked my portal and it was like new message and I was like oh that looks ugly I don't know why I just felt it I was like oh that looks disgusting it's a no I'm not going to college that's tragic so I opened it lo and behold I was deferred I don't know if you guys know what deferment is but in terms of um or in my case, because I applied early decision, I was deferred, which basically meant that they would tell me my decision around the time that they gave the decisions for regular decision students. But in my brain, I was like, so I'm rejected, cool, thank you. <laughs> like, I was just honestly, at that point I was like, I'm not getting into LMU, I need to like figure out something else cause like, this is not gonna work out. And then one day, I was actually at work when this happened. You know, my job as a hostess, you know, a hosting gal, I was hosting. I was leaving early and I was like, oh, I have a message from LMU. And she was like, oh my God, check it. Like, you probably got in. And I'm like, me? Like, pff, who's gonna tell her, you know? Like, I like checked my phone and then I just started crying. <laughs> Because I was just so happy because I got in and I was like, ugh, okay, maybe their mind snapped. Maybe my mind snapped. This is probably in like March when I got my acceptance. Um, but it was like after I got the acceptance to Long Beach. So I was like pretty set on Long Beach. Um, and then, you know, I got my acceptance and I was like, okay, maybe they snapped. Maybe some points were made. And so, you know, I got into LMU. That was, that was cute. I was like, oh my God, okay. Like, and then I got my financial aid package and I was like, this ain't it, chief. I was just, um, I've never seen so many large numbers next to my name. When I first looked at my financial aid, like what my ex estimated financial aid would have been at the beginning of the year for LMU, I was like, oh, that's cute. That's real cute. Cause it's 60K, 67, I think, 67K a year to go to LMU. And I got about 50 something K in 
uh, financial aid, estimatedly. And I was like, oh, that's real cute. It'll only cost me 10,000 a year to go to LMU, which is real funny because like at the beginning of the year, I just had no concept of money and like no common sense, I guess. And then I got my actual financial aid, which was pretty similar, like nothing really changed. But at that point I was like, okay, who's gonna get this 10K a year? Cause it's not me, chief. Like, where's it coming from? But then long story short, I got some college loans and now I'm in debt, so. I think I'm gonna go take some NyQuil and uh, pass out, even though it's 4 p.m because that's just where my life is at right now. <laughs> I really want to do like a bigger college video, like in general, because I do have a lot of like stuff college-wise that I want to talk about. So maybe that'll be my next video, but also maybe not because I like do videos on a whim. Like I just got back from class and I was like, I'm gonna spill some tea today. So we'll see, we'll see. So um, yeah, comment down college application stuff if you have any questions and I think that'll be all for today um but yeah thank you for watching uh don't forget to subscribe and clap really loudly don't forget to subscribe if you want to um i feel like a teacher especially in my teacher pants oh you can't say it <coughs> teacher pants bye and lebron james is wrong